hopest thou to profit? What hopest thou to profit? What hopest thou to profit? This way tarnished. May I have a word? A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. I am the witch, Renna. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Trifle not with me, tarnished. Or didst thou merely forget the name of the spectral steed thou callest? What hopest thou to profit? Hmm. No sense in arguing, I see. Thou art a wild one indeed. Torrent hath quite the ruffian chosen. I will ask thee again. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the Erdtree. The spirits will obey thine command but briefly, as they recall battles past. Now it is thine, to do with as thou wishest. Forgive mine intrusion, tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder? before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers. Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. I see. Quite the sleuth, aren't we? Indeed, I am the witch, Rani. I stole a fragment of the Rune of Death, and used it to forge the godslaying black knives through fearsome right. I did it all. But sadly for thee, the curse mark thou seekest is not to be found here. I have slain the body I was born into and cast it away. And it is upon that flesh the curse mark is carved. And why should I reveal that to thee? I performed the act not to bury the past, nor in shame of the deed, but all the same. Thy begging compels me not a jot. The curse mark thou seekest is not here. That is all I will say. Now, be gone. I see. When Rani shed her flesh, she shed the curse mark too. You know, not everyone would trust such a tale. But if she in her current form is nothing more than the living doll you profess, then perhaps it's true after all. Hmm. Forgive the bluntness of the notion, but how would you like to become one of Rani's vassals? Ah, oh, only in order to get what we want, of course. The location of the body which bore the curse mark, which right now I haven't the faintest. And the best way to find out is for you to enter her service and take a poke around on the slide. I know you've got what it takes. Not only are you a superb fighter, but people want to trust you. I've seen it. Oh, is that so? Thou wouldst render me aid? Is that thy proposal? 
Affording thyself opportunity to grope about for the curse mark's location, no doubt. Hmm. Very well. There's nothing wrong with a well-laid scheme. What's more, if my past and past wounds beckon to thee, I am curious enough to see what thy destiny portends. I'll allow it. Enter my service, and good hunting to thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior. By the name of Blythe, I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. What hopest thou to profit? I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. Ah, it was thee, not Blythe, it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah. But before I leave, I must entrust thee with this. Take it. My discarded flesh lieth beyond the seal unlocked by it, upon which is carved the curse mark of thy desire. I can fathom what thy purpose might be. Neither of us is welcomed by the brighter path, I see. You may leave now. It was but brief, but thou gavest me fine service. What is it? Thy purpose in approaching me was to obtain the curse mark, was it not? You may leave now. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Oh, a dogged fellow, aren't we? Or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fine. I hadn't expected any soul to recognize me in this guise. But now the cat is out the bag. I cannot allow thee thy freedoms. Perform for me a service as recompense. Eliminate the baleful shadows which prowl these lands. 
The name of Rani the Witch is already sullied by thee. I will not brook disobedience in this matter. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Empyrean, of the demigods. Only I, Mikola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers, as a candidate to succeed Queen Marika, to become the new god of the coming age, which is when I received Blythe, in the form of a vassal tailored for an Empyrean. But I would not acquiesce to the two fingers. I stole the Rune of Death, slew mine own Empyrean flesh, casting it away. I would not be controlled by that thing. The Two Fingers and I have been cursing each other ever since, and the Baleful Shadows are their assassins. Even when I turned my back upon the Two Fingers, Blythe remained my loyal ally. <laughs> Though he was created a vassal for an Empyrean, he was a colossal failure on the part of the Two Fingers, Blythe and E.G. both. Art willing to give too much to me, yet they both understand what lieth beyond the dark path, that I must betray everything and rid the world of what came before. Ah. Should I add thee to the list? Another one. Kind of heart. As kind of heart as they. Ah. This form hath loosened my tongue. I've let slip too much. Forget what thou's heard. Forget. O oh, Shadow. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers. That Rani the Witch cometh to rend thy flesh with a fateful wound, never to heal. Beautifully fought. My thanks. Twas more of a challenge than I envisioned. Now I can finally stand before them. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. Hopest thou to profit? <sighs> so this is the measure of my lord. Perhaps it is precisely what I deserve for surrendering myself to delusion.
So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee, travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. I take it thou hast noticed. I shouldn't be surprised. I thought I might expound a little further upon the order I envision. Mine will be an order not of gold, but the stars and moon of the chill night. I would keep them far from the earth beneath our feet. As it is now, life and souls and order are bound tightly together. But I would have them at a great remove and have the certainties of sight, emotion, faith, and touch all become impossibilities, which is why I would abandon this soil with mine order. Wouldst thou come to me even now, my one and only lord? The battle is over, I see. To every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all. Reaching the great beyond. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness. As the path stretcheth into darkness. Let us go together. My dear Consort Eternal. <laughs> 